Reading 012, Unit 1, Lesson 1, Keep Running. By the end of Unit 1, Lesson 1, you will be able to identify the main idea in the reading text and apply reading strategies such as previewing. Let's take a look at some vocabularies of reading skill. The number one word is solo and the meaning is alone. The number two word is rucksack, and the meaning is a backpack. Number three is a jogger, and this is a special stroller to push a baby while running or jogging. And number four is a blizzard, and the meaning is a long, severe snowstorm. Number five is treading. This can also mean stepping or walking on. Previewing. Preview the magazine article below. Underline the title, the first sentence of each paragraph, and the last sentence of the text as you preview. Then answer this question. What is the text about? Now let's take a look at this text. Around the World with Rosie. Rosie Swell Pope is unlike any other 60-year-old grandmother in the world. Three years ago, she left her house in Wales and started off on a solo run around the world. With the exception of short flights between oceans, Rosie has run across Europe, Russia, and Siberia, and down through Alaska and Canada. She is currently crossing the United States and hopes to be home by next December. When Rosie began her trip, she ran carrying her belongings in a 40-pound rucksack. Later, a woman in Russia, later, a woman in Russia gave her a baby jogger to push. For some time in the Alaskan wilderness, she pulled her belongings in a sled. Now she pulls a cart she calls the Silver Dream Machine. In it, she keeps her tent, cook stove, and other essentials. When full, her cart weighs nearly 300 pounds. Despite the weight, she averages between 10 and 25 miles each day. Rosie's adventures have included incredible summertime heat and below freezing winter weather, encounters with bears and wolves and robbers, frostbite, broken ribs, and pneumonia. She even had to be rescued in a blizzard where she was trapped on an uninhabited island in the Yukon River in Alaska. She has worn out over 36 pairs of shoes. Occasionally, she has run out of food or money and is always grateful for the kindness of strangers she meets along the way. When she has the opportunity, Rosie communicates with family and friends on a website run by her son. People sometimes spot Rosie camping by the side of the road and talk with her or invite her home for supper. They often post on her website how she has inspired them. In a letter to her fans, Rosie writes, Running can take you to places that do not exist if you travel in any other way. You are treading gently through someone else's land, part of the life going on all around you, part of the people, places, sunrises, storms, terrors, and joys. Now, answer this question. What is the text about? The answer would be, it's about Rosie Swell Pope. She's a woman who has run from Wales, across Europe and Russia, and now is in the U.S.